The question, how do I anchor properly using an electric guitar? I've been playing on and off for 30 years. Mostly rock and metal. 1. Anchoring changes not only based on what string you're playing on, but also how you're playing. There's a natural solution for just about anything. Sometimes when I'm playing speed runs, my anchor is putting my pinky on either the high or on the end of the bridge pickup. Sometimes, it's resting the whole meat of your palm on the strings by the bridge for a more percussive, muted sound or, if you metal, that palm muted chugga chugga. Sometimes if you're strumming, it's the fleshy part of your arm up near the elbow anchored to the top edge of the guitar's body. An anchor point is not strictly necessary, but it is advantageous for picking accuracy, it gives your body and subconscious a frame of reference for where things are, especially if you're moving around on stage. 2. Muting or muffling is a technique, like any other, to be used when appropriate. I just picked up my guitar to see what I do when I'm playing lower strings and not muting, it really does become unconscious eventually, I promise, and I use the pinky technique mentioned above. It's not mandatory, but it's what works for a lot of players. This is a good time to note that if you're going to play anything with high gain, like rock or metal, one of the most important things you can do early on is to get used to using any combination of both hands to gently mute any string you're not specifically using. Figure out what works best for you. You can use, as I said, any part of either hand at any given time. High distortion and no muting is a messy sounding, noisy, uncontrolled feedback nightmare. Get it under control early. 3. You'll get used to it. Your other fingers should either be getting positioned for the next step, note, chord, pluck, or gently muting the strings you don't want ringing out. Good luck and persevere. There's so much more out there for the young guitarist now than there was when I was learning. Use the tools, but don't be beholden to them and their techniques too much, I find so. Many of today's young shredders have absolutely savage speed and technique, but their tone and playing are all the same. What makes some of us older guys stand out is that we had to figure out our own ways of doing things a lot, and the mistakes we made have grown into the uniqueness of our styles, view.